and gentlemen, or as I like to think of us fellow seafaring travelers, welcome to the majestic queen of the sea. Uh, do any of you suffer from seasickness by any chance? Well, no worries. Dr. Pildropper's on board, and I guarantee you he's got something for whatever may ail you. Oh, and Captain Seaworthy asked me to tell you guys to go ahead and silence your cell phones now because there's not going to be any reception out there on the high seas anyway. I do have one programming note about tonight's entertainment. No, the Spice Girls are still going to be performing. Don't worry about that. But I did want to let you know that Bob Hagen will be playing the role of Wendell Wealthy for tonight's performance. Now, when we get ready to shove off and you hear that horn blow, you guys down here by the railing, well, you might want to cover your glasses because, well, just trust me on that. <laughs> All right, I think I hear the rest of the passengers are getting ready to board, so happy sailing, everybody. Exciting and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you. back to you the love phone soon we'll be making another run the love phone promises something for everyone set a course for adventure your mind on a new romance and an open smile on a friendly show. Seaworthy, and this is Badger, our purser, and Miss Judy Berkey, our cruise director. Oh, we're so excited to be here to celebrate our 50th wedding anniversary. Isn't that right, Herman? Oh, oh, yeah, yes, we are, dear. <laughs> right this way. We put you in the honeymoon suite. Oh, thank you. Come on, Herman. <laughs> she just can't wait to get me alone so we can start that honeymoon. <laughs> Well, you did want a livelier group. Gilda Richbatch and Emily, sir. Welcome aboard, Miss Richbitch. That's, <laughs> That's Richbatch, sir. Oh, excuse me. Miss Richbatch and Miss Leach, welcome aboard. Right this way, ladies, you'll be in cabin five on the festival deck. Come on, Emma. needed a college degree for this? This 
guy needs no introduction. Welcome aboard, Mr. Wimbledon. I've been a fan of yours for years. So have I, Mr. Wimbledon. And we have tennis courts on board, so if you need a doubles partner, I'm available. I'll bet you are. <laughs> Hi, we're the Ditsy Sisters. <laughs> I'm Lena, I mean, I'm Gina. Oh, I'm Lena. We're looking forward to a fun cruise. I hope you have a good and friendly bartender on board. Lena. Oh, yes, we have Mixer Morgan. He's great. <laughs> Fantastic. On our last cruise, I had five Tom Collins, Four Jack Daniels and a Paco Martinez. What kind of a drink is a Paco Martinez? Oh, that was the pool boy in Cabo. <laughs> right this way, ladies. We have you in cabin three on the celebration deck. Oh, yay, the celebration oh, deck. Yeah. Oh, yay. Uh, ah, Max Cinema here. You may have seen some of my films. Of course, Mr. Cinema. It's an honor to have you on board. Tell me, will this be a business or pleasure trip? Oh, absolutely. It's pure pleasure. However, the good movie plot should appear. Who might have turned it down? Well, Mr. Cinema, I once was a commander of a submarine. I could tell you a lot of interesting stories. Captain, I will be happy if you can just keep this boat above water. <laughs> However, I might have a part for you in my next movie. You do have Newman's eyes. <laughs> Douglas's chin. And Stallone's physique. <laughs> he better give everything back. He's getting them all wrinkled. <coughs> it's good, good. Doc, Mixer, and Flash. It's about time you showed up. Badger, I want to make sure I have enough sea pills, seasick pills for the trip. And I was out checking our liquor supply. We almost ran out of the last cruise. And I was charging my batteries. You always got to be prepared for a good photo op. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's save the photo ops for the passengers. Badger, round up some of the passengers for our famous Coming off celebration. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> my dear, to be well behaved and to present an image of an innocent young lady. I mean, I've heard things can get quite wild on some of these cruises, and anything you do would be a reflection on me as well. I mean, what would those ladies from the Springfield Bible Study Group say if our reputation was tarnished? Oh, don't worry, ma'am. My behavior will be exemplary. I guess that rules out my thong. <laughs> What was that, my dear? I said I can't wait to meet the throngs of people aboard. Lena, have you noticed how many good-looking guys there are on this ship? Have you seen any you like yet? Well, I've kind of got my eye on that movie director guy. I bet he's rolling in dough. And I bet you're contemplating marriage. Oh, better than that. Community property! <laughs> How about you, sis? Well, I think the captain is kind of cute. Yeah, but with your luck, they probably named the ship after him, the Queen of the Sea. <laughs> Can you believe it, Herman? 50 years of marriage. <laughs> yeah. You remember when your dad caught us naked behind the barn? Oh, my, do I? 
<laughs> you know what he told me? No, I don't. He told me if I didn't marry you, he'd have me locked up for 50 years. And? Just think, I'd be a free man by now. <laughs> Sometimes I think marriage is like going to a restaurant with your friends. You order what you want, and then when you see what the other ladies have, you wish you had ordered that. Now, now tell me, Bertha, what do you admire most about me? Is, is it my fantastic good looks or my superior intellect? Well, what I admire most about you is your enormous sense of humor. Now, Bertha, what can I do to show you how much I still care after all these years? Well, the neighbor kisses his wife every morning on his way to work. Why don't you do that? How, how can I? I? I don't even know her. <laughs> oh, Herman, gotta love that sense of humor. I'm looking forward to another 50 years of being as happy as Adam and Eve. Don't count on it. Remember, they didn't have mothers-in-law. I've called you all here to tell you about a bulletin I just received from Interpol. It seems they've got a tip that the international jewel thief, the purple puma, may be on this ship. <laughs> There aren't any pictures. It seems they don't know what he looks like, or even if it's a man or a woman. He, or she, is a master of disguise. Are there any fingerprints or DNA of any kind? Yeah, I could collect lots of fingerprints from all the glasses on the bar. Nope. Crime scene's as clean as a whistle. We better not let this information get out. It might panic the passengers. Right, Badger. So. Everyone stay on the alert and let me know if you see anything suspicious. You know, I better get Mrs. Richbatch to put her jewels in the ship's safe. Did you guys see the size of those rocks she was wearing when she came on board? Okay, but remember. Be discreet! Well, I'll keep an ear out of at the bar. You know how people like to talk when they've had a few drinks. I better check all the security cameras, make sure they're working. And I'll go over the passenger list. Badger, I can give you a hand with that. Well, hello, Mrs. Foley. Mind if I join you? I hear you're celebrating 50 years of marriage. Oh, yes, and please, call me Bertha. This is like a second honeymoon for us. Well, that's great, Bertha. I've not had that experience. Unfortunately, I've buried three husbands over the years. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gilda. Well, fortunately, they were all quite well off and uh, left me well provided for. Well, that certainly was a blessing. But tell me, have you given any thought to marriage again? Well, if the right guy comes along, I kind of like that ship's doctor. But, you know, i got to be careful not to hook up with any, uh, you know, gold diggers who are only after my money. You got that right. And speaking of gold diggers, have you noticed how one of those ditzy sisters is chasing after that movie director? I have. And I've also noticed how that a cruise director is getting quite cozy with that tennis player. Oh, being aboard a cruise ship is like watching a really good movie. Oh, you can say that again. But uh, I am so fortunate with my traveling companion, Emma. She is such an innocent young thing. Why, she's almost like the daughter I never had. I, I don't have to worry about her causing any scandals. Oh, that's wonderful. Tell me, Bertha, where are you from? Oh, well, Herman and I are from Lakeland, Florida. We just bought into one of those 55 and older communities. <laughs> That's where we got the idea for this cruise, from our neighbors. Everyone is going on cruises there. 
Besides, I was getting tired of playing bingo. <laughs> well, I am so glad I met you, Bertha. Maybe on my next trip to Miami, I'll stop and we can visit. Oh, that would be fantastic. And please, bring that charming young lady, Emma, with you, too. I'll do that. She'd like that. Well, ladies, how are you enjoying the cruise? Oh, it's just wonderful. Tell me, Doctor, have you always worked aboard cruise ships? It must be wonderful meeting new people on every cruise. To be honest, it's exhausting work, but I enjoy it. I do miss my private practice, though, where I get used to be able to get used to knowing people over the years. Well, Doctor, I have this pain in my neck. <laughs> well, let me take a look at that. I have a lot of experience dealing with pains in the neck. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll be running along to look after my own pain in the neck. Herman! <laughs> oh, doctor, this could get quite habit for me. Badger, were you able to find out anything with the passenger list? Well, I did find out something interesting. It seems that the last caper that the purple puma pulled last month was in Monte Carlo. And guess who just happened to be there playing in a tennis match? You don't mean Lex. I mean Mr. Wimbledon, do you? I certainly do. Coincidence? No, I think not. This could be a very good lead. I think we should follow up on it. I agree. And I talked to the captain, and he said maybe you, Judy, should get close to Wimbledon since he seems to have eyes for you, and see what you can find out. Oh, I don't know. I'm really not much of a detective. Well, Judy, you could get a lot closer to him than we could. Oh, look. Here he comes now. Hmm. Oh, hi, Mr. Wimbledon. Oh, hello, my dear. You're just the person I was looking for. Maybe you could give me a tour of the ship. Great! Come along and we'll get started. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> well, hello, Mr. Foggy. Where's your beautiful wife today? Well, she's at the beauty parlor, but, but I'm glad you stopped by, Doc. Herman, what can I do for you? Well, as you know, Bertha and I are celebrating our 50th wedding anniversary. And, and I was wondering if you had something you could give me to help me uh, rise to the occasion, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Herman, I think I know exactly what you need. Stop by my office this afternoon and we'll, we'll give you a shot. Thanks, Doc. And can, can we just keep this between you and me? I don't want to tarnish my reputation. Herman, no problem. Well, I better go. I'll see you this afternoon. Okay, thanks. Oh, Doc, I'm glad I ran into you. Could you give me some seasick pills? I'm feeling awful woozy. Max, I have some in my office. Stop by this afternoon, and we'll take care of that. <laughs> Blue pills for Herman? Yellow pills for Max. I've got it. <laughs> Mind if I join you, Miss Leach? Sure, Flash. Oh, you naughty boy. You have a copy of Playmate magazine. Yeah, and I can't believe what I just saw in here. And I can't believe a photographer would be shocked at any photos in that magazine. Well, it seems like they're reviving an old history. They're doing a retro of Calling the Beauties of 2008. Oh, my God. That can't be the issue. Uh, that is you, then, on that bearskin rug. <laughs> put, that, put that away and let me explain. No need to explain. One picture's worth a thousand words. Look, I was a poor college student, and I needed the money. Where did you get that magazine? They're on sale at our gift shop. <laughs> oh my God, what am I gonna do? What is Mrs. Richbatch gonna say? Flash, you've gotta help me. 
Well, what can I do? I know. I'll give you the money, and you buy up the rest of the magazines they have in the gift shop. Well, we can give it a try. Let's go. Hello, ladies. How are you enjoying our cruise? We'd enjoy it more if you join us. Oh, don't get up, my dear. Oh, that's okay. I have a few errands to run. Gina will entertain you. By the way, did you happen to see that movie director guy anywhere? I think I saw him in the gift shop. Oh, good. Maybe I can catch him while he's in a buying mood. <laughs> well, Gina, I guess you're stuck with me. Oh, Captain, I love being in your company. Any questions I can answer about the cruise? Actually, there is one question I do have. Fire away. Well, I don't know how to put this, but how did the ship get its name Queen of the Sea? Well, we thought she was a royal lady. Oh, that's such a relief. <laughs> enjoying the cruise so far? Yeah. Not bad for ten dollars, huh? Bring your own booze, too? In any event, uh, this is time for the door prizes, so in case, uh, hopefully you signed your card with your name, and we have the winner here that, oh, you want to pick it, Lois? No, you pick it. You're the lucky one. All right. Oh no. Well, it's just one name, or one last name. And the name is Hagen. Any Hagens in the house? Well, it, whoever Hagen wants to claim it, there's only one name here. Which one? Who wrote one name? All right. Well, you're the winner. on up. You didn't win a cruise. You got tickets for another show, for one of our future shows, and also $25. All right? So, you ready for some more cruising? All right. By the way, if anyone's looking for any tennis lessons, let me know after the show. We'll give you a good deal. Let's go. Back. Do we have any more leads as to the identity of the jewel thief? Not much, sir, but it was definitely the purple puma. We found his trademark purple ribbon at the scene of the crime. Oh, I wish I'd gotten Mrs. Richbatch to put her jewelry in the ship safe. You've been spending a lot of time with Mr. Wimbledon. Do you have anything to report? Well, he's got a great backside. Uh, I mean backhand. But, you know, I've been spending a lot of time with him, and I just don't see how he would have had time to steal any jewels. Besides, I think he's a great guy. Judy, I hope you can put your personal feelings aside and keep an open mind about this. And be sure it's just your mind you keep open. Badger, I am going to smack you. I'm a team player, and I'm going to do my best to check him out thoroughly. That's, That's what we're afraid of. of. Captain, let me see your binoculars. Ah. Ah. Captain, Captain, there's a raft out there. Okay? You're right, and it's getting closer and there are people on board. Flash, help get these people aboard. Oh. 
Oh, Captain, we're so happy you saved us. I'm the skipper of the Guppy, the tour boat that's been missing for 10 years. We've been stranded on an island all of this time. We are so happy to see you. Here's my passengers. Mr. Wendell Wealthy and his wife, Honey. <laughs> Come on, Honey. We finally made it. Oh, thank you, Captain. Now, where is the nearest shopping mall? <laughs> yes, and by the way, I need a phone so I can call my banker. Now, calm down, folks. Let's get the rest of the people on board. Captain, this is Candy Kane. Come on, Candy. What's the matter, my dear? You're safe now. You don't understand. I broke my fingernail. <laughs> now, uh, here we have Professor Cornell oh. Princeton. He's our famous scholar. Thanks for saving us, Captain. Wow, this is so exciting. I might even write a thesis on this. But best of all, I can't wait to get back to civilization so I can cash in on my late uncle's estate. Oh, here's one of my favorite students, Mary Jane. Wow, what a big boat. Where's the student union building? <laughs> Hooligan? Where's Hooligan? Here I am, Skipper. Oh, quit. This is no time to be fishing. Let go of that poor fish. Captain, this is Hooligan. He's my first mate. Actually, I'm his second mate, if you count his ex-wife. Oh. <laughs> Hooligan. Hello, Captain. <laughs> Captain, you don't know how happy I am to be off that island. Yeah. I got so tired of wearing the same old socks and underwear every day. Oh, and I no. know it. Hey, let's get all these wonderful people together for a photograph, okay? I know the media is going to want one, and maybe there's a pull in it for me. Come on over here, everybody. Boys in the back, girls in the front. Spread out a little bit so I can see you back there. Come there on. Go. That's it. Nice and happy. You're all looking this way. Big smile on three. One, two, and three. We got you. All right. There you go. <laughs> well, now that we've recorded this momentous occasion, why don't you all take a few hours to freshen up? And I want to invite all of you to the captain's table for dinner tonight. Oh. Wow. I'm not doing a thing for the seasickness, but man, the side effects are fantastic. <laughs> well, well, I bought up every copy of Playmate they had left in the store. What do you mean they had left? Is that not all of them? Well, the clerk told me they originally had 24. I got 22 here. The one I bought last week was the next 23. That, that means, means there's, there's still one out left. there. Wow. God, he's gone. Well, those pills don't seem to be doing anything for me. Maybe this magazine will help. <laughs> we, we've got to get that magazine. I got an idea. I got a copy of popular photography here. I'll switch magazines, but you have to distract them. How do I distract him? Well, just use your feminine wild. You'll, you'll be all right. Hi, Mr. Fogey. You're looking good today. Well, thank you, my dear. I can say the same about you. Oh, oh, oh. are, are you oh, all right? Oh, yeah. I seem to have lost my balance. Oh, thank you. Oh, have a nice day. Uh, thank, thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Popular photography? Those pills must be affecting my eyesight instead. Uh. I can get you ladies anything else. You can get her the captain's phone number. 
Trina. She's been trying to get her hooks into him since we came on board. Oh, like you haven't been chasing after that director guy. Has he gotten you on the casting couch yet? Well, now... <laughs> Judy. Now you have to be the best pupil I've ever had. Okay. As a matter of fact, I wish we could be more than just teacher and student. Well, Lex, I like you a lot. But you know, it's against ship's policy for me to get involved with anybody on the ship. Yeah, I understand. After all, you know, the cruise has to end eventually but our relationship does not. Okay, I'll think about it, Lex. You know, um, I got you a little something, and I, um, I hope you'll accept it as a token of gratitude for you coming into my life. Fantastic on you. Okay, you know, I never noticed these in the gift shop before. Well, uh, they just put it out recently, yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much, Lex. But we better keep this our little secret for now. Yeah, I don't want to get you in any kind of trouble, so let's not flash him around too much. I'm glad to see our very own Nancy Drew is on the case. This place was starting to look like the dating game. Well, I can't tell you how happy we are to have you aboard tonight. Tell me, Skipper, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? Oh, I'm going to go look up all my old girlfriends. Well, that won't take very long. <laughs> They're either all dead or in the nursing home right now. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Wealthy, was there ever a time when you just thought about giving up? Well, one time, we felt like ending it all. We almost climbed on top of all of our money to jump off. Yeah. Speaking of money, darling, why don't we buy this wonderful boat? That way we would have the Mediterranean as our swimming pool. <laughs> Captain, I almost forgot. We got a telegram from Donald Trump congratulating our island survivors. My old friend Donnie. So what's he up to these days? Why, he's the president. President of what? Why, the United States. What? There, there, dear, my dear. Maybe we'll get a cabinet post. Oh. <laughs> Say, Badger, what's new in the entertainment world? Um, did Elizabeth Taylor get married again? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm afraid she's passed away. Oh, well, that's a shame. Well, she must be in that big divorce court in the sky. <laughs> what about the pop music scene? Are the Spice Girls still playing? They certainly are, my dear, and you're in luck. They're on the boat tonight, and they're our featured entertainment. Oh, wow. I can hardly wait. Say, has anybody got any information about the sports world? I, I'm a bit of a fan of the Olympics. Do you think there's a possibility that Bruce Jenner might make a comeback? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's definitely come back, Professor. Oh, good. In fact, 
He might even make the broad jump next year. <laughs> Skipper, tell me, how did you get off the island? Well, this hurricane came along and blew down all of our huts. So we lashed all the hut poles together and we made the raft. Then we gathered up all the clothes we could find and made a sail. And they used so many of my outfits that we christened the raft the SS Versace. <laughs> Sadly, they all blew away, except my Fredericks of Hollywood bra. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it must have been a dangerous journey. Did you have any close calls? Oh, yes. There, there was a time Mr. Wealthy fell overboard trying to retrieve a dollar bill that blew out of his wallet. <laughs> Look, a dollar is a dollar, and it was a good thing they pulled me in quickly, because I can't swim. Well, his butler took his swimming lessons <laughs> for him. <laughs> Did you know that we had a famous Hollywood director on board? Oh, well, who's that? Why, it's Max Cinema. Oh, Max? I was in a picture with him 10 years ago. Oh, I hope he remembers me. <laughs> How could he forget you? <laughs> well, it's almost time for the floor show to begin. Badger, why don't you get ready to introduce them? Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present directly from a, a command performance from the London Palladium, The Spice Girls.
Oh, my dear, what a beautiful necklace. Why, Mrs. Richbatch, that looks a lot like yours. It certainly does. Where did you get that, my dear? And that pretty purple ribbon in your hair. Well, the necklace was a gift from Max, and it was wrapped in the purple ribbon. So, it's you. Didn't you recognize him? Oh, no, that was not Max. Max is a short, fat, bald guy with bad breath and has a limp. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Mrs. Richbatch, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Here's your necklace. Please forgive me. Oh, Brenda, we haven't had this much excitement since the chauffeur ran off with the maid. Yeah. <laughs> And I really miss her. <laughs> well, now relax, everybody. Enjoy your last night at sea. We do some bark in the morning. Tonight, drinks on the house. Bertha, <laughs> are you ready for another 50 years? Well, next time, take the right pills. Uh -huh. Yeah, and maybe he'll make me Secretary of the Treasury. <laughs> Bye. No more sexy pictures for you unless I'm the guy behind the camera. Well, no more babes in front of your camera either. <laughs> Gee, what would you like for an engagement present? Well, now I can wear my beautiful diamond earrings and have tennis lessons for life. Bye, Captain. I'm going to be Candy's new agent and restart her movie career. And he's going to get more than 10% too. I'm so excited. We've got a cute and fun bartender that makes all drinks at our sorority parties. I just hope I can make drinks fast enough for your crowd. <laughs> All you have to worry about is keeping up with me, big guy. All right. I'm going back to my cabin. Then I'll meet you at the student union in about an hour. Then we'll see who can keep up with who. I'm the girl's manager. They call me Old Spice. Well, Hooligan, I guess it's just you and me. Aye, aye, Captain. And I guess you'll be needing a new first mate. You got the job. 
I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship.